go watch it. It's like a daily TV. Hi, I'm Magnus from the band Sagada. In this part of MIDI for guitars, we're going to have a look at the expression pedal. The expression pedal is what I think the most fun and versatile way of controlling your guitar effect. It can be used to a lot of things if you just use your imagination. So I'm going to run you through some example of how I use the expression pedal in this episode and then how I set it up in the next episode. I have a Mission expression pedal that has a button in the front so I can use the expression pedal as a normal wower pedal and turn an effect on and off if I want to. So the first way I'm going to show you is probably the most common one and that is to use the expression pedal as a wower pedal. <laughs> So now you might think that I already have a Wawa pedal, so why would I use the expression pedal as a Wawa? Well, I've been in a situation where I want to go from a preset with a Wawa and then to another preset without the Wawa. So if I would have used the Dunlop Wawa, I had to turn that off first and then change the preset. Now I just changed the preset and the Wawa sound is gone. Another common way to use the expression pedal is to change the speed of something like a tremolo effect for example. For this you need to set the expression pedal to the right min and max value to not get like a crazy effect. But more about that in the next episode. The tremolo can be a cool effect to add to a couple of chords. My favorite expression pedal sound is the one I use in the beginning of the song The Deep Sleep by Psychedelic. Here I use a phaser combined with a vibro pan that I change the speed on with the expression pedal. Different, but not a very complicated way of using the expression pedal is to turn an effect on and off. This is just the same way as turning it on and off with a button on your pedal board, but more quicker to use. In a psychedelic song called Feels Like a Stranger, I used this to turn the flame your effect on and off. If I would have used the button on the pedal board, I had to press the pedal once to turn it on and then once to turn it off. Now I just press the expression pedal forward to turn it on and press it backwards to turn it off. For some expression pedal effects, you want to have the highest value at the bottom and the lowest on the top. 
you can check my quick tip video about that right here. Well, that is everything for this episode. I hope this has given you some cool ideas on how to use an expression pedal and be sure to check out the next episode as well. Feel free to write any questions or comments down below. Maybe you have a cool way of using the expression pedal, then please let me know about that. If you like this video, please subscribe to Psychedelic TV to be updated on our upcoming videos. You can also visit Psychedelic's webpage at psychedelic.com or hey, why not be friends with us on Psychedelic's Facebook page. Here you can find more info about the band and listen to some great music. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope to see you again. And of course, use it for good, not for evil.